And welcome back to live coverage here on Eurosport of the World Rowing Championships at Indianapolis. And you join us as the final of the women's quadruple skulls gets underway. And the full six boat lineup on the far side. The USA in lane one. Germany in lane two. The early leaders. China in lane three, center shot in the red and yellow strip. Lane four, the Ukraine. Lane five, Russia and lane six australia all four crews have some represent in the uh, center of the field have some representation from last year's medalists in particular the chinese in lane three and three of their crew members survive from last year's world champions in the german lineup just christina munt in the bow seat survives from uh, last year's silver medal crew and it seems to be germany who are taking on the early running with australia on the near side a new lineup uh, for Australia and uh, another reshuffle following Lucerne. Three members of the Australian crew raced at Lucerne two months ago and took the bronze medal there with Bronwyn Roy subbing for the bow girl Flip Fleur Spriggs. And in fact, the uh, German crew was the only crew to survive intact from Lucerne. They took the gold medal there. So very little new form to go on for these crews. Germany then, gold medalist at Lucerne, well up on the rest of the field. China just hanging on their shoulder there, determined not to let the gap of clear water open. Chinese women's rowing come on immensely strongly in recent years. Tend to prefer fours rather than pairs. world champions in quadruple skulls and in uh, the four minus event over the last uh, several years they were world champions in quad skulls last year and in the cockless falls in 1991 and as i say three members of last year's world champions surviving in uh, this year's crew But they really have got it all to do, uh, even at this early stage, if they're going to come back, they're a length back. But they've got contact, and that's the important thing in a rowing race like this. The last thing you want to do is to allow a gap of clear water to open up between yourselves and the opposition. Quadruple skull, a very fast falls event the second fastest event to eights itself and uh, many believe the greatest rowing event to look at in terms of the rhythm in the water and these crews putting on a fine example of quadruple sculling good even rhythm there from the Australians on the near side a little short in the water but nice neat strokes clean finishes Australia currently rating 37 strokes a minute very high rate of striking for a boat in this class but making little impression on the leaders because the German crew have now opened up the gap between themselves and China. Germany lead the rest of the field. And China really have to maintain contact if they're going to make it two gold medals in a row. And Australia challenging the Ukraine for the bronze medal slot. Russians really pushing out the finishes. Less technique than the Australians, but uh, really making their presence felt. Power in the water. The Americans at 38 as they come into the closing stages of this final of the quadruple skulls. And Germany continue to lead China. 
the Ukraine currently in third position Australia battling hard for that bronze medal slot but I'm sure it's not going to be as they come down towards the line 